playing as the Earth Federation because that is the only choice. <laughs> <laughs> if you're unaware, oh, actually, yeah. there's something down. Tell me the law. Okay, so basically, most of the conflict in this first like part of the game, yeah, should be like orbital combat and like in space combat. Oh, I see. In fact. In fact, the first engagements should be on the Zabby homeworld. Yeah, I actually see the little map they have. Yeah, the little thing down the bottom. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? The Earth Federation. So basically, yeah. Yeah, so you've got the Earth Federation that owns, like, a few little bits and pieces and a colony. Yeah. Then you've got, um, like, all the main colonies, which are all of these little, like, thingamajigs. Oh, yes, I see. And the red colors are the... Ah, yeah. The Autonomous Republic of Zeon. These are the big niggers. <laughs> it's, it's, I believe the space noids, which are basically humans that have evolved to live in space effectively. Ah, oh, wow, okay. Are, like, basically the, um... The super race. They're much better than the Earth Federation, they think, anyway. And they want, like, independence. Anyway, um... Yes. You're pushing for independence? Is actually poisoned and dies just before he delivers his speech to demand independence. Oh, very suspicious. And there's that inherent, his, inherent like his um, rulership, right? Yeah. And the Zabbies are somewhat suspected of actually killing him, even though they both want what he wanted. <laughs> basically, they think that him dying and being poisoned is fantastic. Um, like propaganda to basically say look at what the earth federation did to one of our own for merely asking for independence it's time for war oh boy and uh yeah and drama the sued thing, like um the dude's family after he's died and all this and like his son ends up fighting for the zabbies in the end i think the republic of zeon uh, yes. anyway yeah a lot of shit. <laughs> a lot of stuff happens. Yeah, Co-op, because I think we shouldn't be playing against each other. In yeah, this. Okay. All right. So we're gonna go full supremacist. All right, supremacy is uh, the way to go. All right. I'm interested to see how this functions because I don't know how supremacy is, how the like Xeon fellas are gonna go. Yes. As you, as you can see from the map, we're kind of fucked right now. We got a lot of a lot of work ahead of us. Yeah. Smithing Howard. They even did a little yell. Like it's some yeah, sort of anime. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Appeasement to the Dai Kun faction. Or clamp down on the Dai Kun faction. Oh, so Dai Kun is the fella that was like originally asking for independence, right? Ah, uh, okay, yes. So this is like the main fella. And they're trying to basically, like, actually have some form of, um, like, actual, genuine separation. Okay. Whereas, if we go with the historical version, <laughs> um, clamp down the Daikon faction, we just fucking kill him. <laughs> <laughs> we go full Space Lord supremacy, let's go kill these bitches. Alright. Let's go. And civilian factories. <laughs> and military factories. Ooh, now that's a that's a powerhouse right there. Then look at the Earth Federation's factories. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't look like it because oh yeah, what, what does the Earth have? Look how much the Earth has. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Holy fuck! <laughs> this is gonna be a war of attrition. Uh, maybe we should land in places that are hard to like invade afterwards. <laughs> what New Zealand? <laughs> Uh, England. England, um, Japan, actually anywhere on the Euro Asia Africa continent is going to be a pain. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Most of the Earth will be a pain. If you want an idea of who we are, we're, we're sci fi Nazi Germany. That's basically what this is. Well, I can sort of tell by the flag. <laughs> <laughs> like, it, it's not very subtle, and this is literally what it was in the TV series IQ 240. Damn, Sabi has a very big IQ. Oh yeah, he does. Big brain. How good are the Saku uh, mechs in the anime? They're pretty good. 
I will say though, they yeah. um once the Earth Federation gets out their um Gundam, we're probably gonna need to innovate fast. <laughs> okay. So we need more Sarkus is what you're saying. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Alright, I'll put 10 factories on Saku production. Uh, I find it interesting the date is the year 75. So what happened yeah, 75 years ago? It's like the beginning of this whole like non-Earth based human sort of stuff. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, very recent. The sea on Iron Cross. Yeah, that's... Very relating to Germany. Oh no, there we go. I found it, I'm gonna pin it. Pinned it, but I didn't see it. Oh, over there, huh? <laughs> Jaburo. In I Guyana. Guyana. Why Guyana? Why Guyana? That's probably the, probably the weirdest spot to have the capital of the Earth Federation. Yeah. Okay, right, since we industries started, we're producing one Saku suit a day. Pretty fucking good. Yeah. These are big things. <laughs> you were Damn producing it. one a day. <laughs> one a day! Can you imagine that in this universe? <laughs> one a day? <laughs> fucking the best, like, super weapons anyone's got at this point in history and just like, what up? Well, no, we just mass produced it. Alright, we're, we're acknowledging gonna... the existence of these people. Oh wait, no, we can't. Oh, okay. I'm not allowed to. I need a new type of tolerance of seven or more. I don't know oh, okay, we can spread the new type four, which allows us to boost that acceptance in the events. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, I see what you're talking about. Yeah. But we can also do anti zionism raids at the same time. <laughs> Oh, that would be funny. Yes, we just shut the hell up. <laughs> yeah. Zabby forever. If we hit Europe hard and circle a bunch there, we'll have annihilated a large amount of their force initially. Yes. And have a huge um, production base from all of the factories in Europe. And we're going to have a large resource pool. Mm. I reckon Europe is probably a good target. Europe, okay. Yeah, like this is huge. <laughs> Getting down into stuff like, you know, the Zogok and shit like that, like, I... I think one of my favourite things is Big Zam. <laughs> Simple, oh, yes. but nice. <laughs> Big Zam, what a name. No, that does sound like a true military name. You know, you want to know what it does have, though? 1200 yeah. armour. 450 soft attack. <laughs> a, piercing of, a piercing of 2,940. Oh, so it has a huge production cost. Well, I mean, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> For and something look, that can literally just punch holes in anything that it looks at. And it's expensive to make, but it is going to be worth yeah. it. We'll get there in the end. In the series? At least yeah. at this point in the series of like the history and everything, five Zaku's completely changed the entire like um, fate of an entire like fleet battle in space and just annihilated a whole fleet. Wow. Okay. That's like, pretty they damn are fucking scary. And one division I'm planning to make has six of them. Yeah, like this <laughs> is literally just like. Super weapons on top of super weapons. That's like if the Americans started the war in World War Two with like twenty nukes. Bye. <laughs> Bye, everyone. It was unfortunate accidents. Yeah, pretty much what they tried to sell it off as. <laughs> we just, it was in the middle of a war, so what do you expect? They literally just like that. They genuinely went up to the colony, blocked it all off, then pumped in this gas that just like. Put everyone to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> and then just like dropped it so that like no one no one experienced it inside <laughs> of the colony They just got killed. <laughs> no. They had no idea. It was the humane just, way. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Humane way. Mass genocide. Excellent.
I don't think there's going to be a one year war to be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> the Ben tell me Sakus we can build. I like how they have a focus called White Devil. <laughs> Excellent. I'm pretty sure that's a pilot, but like... <laughs> The white devil. Yeah, it has a bit of a different ring to it when you think about it yes. in the way that you'd normally think of white devil. Yes. So you've been doing some crackdowns on Zeonism, good man. The question now is not whether it is a Zeon citizen or an Earth Federation citizen. It is either an Earth Noid or a Space Noid. It is time for all space noids to stand up for Zeonism, the continuing theory of the survival of the dominant human race. Excellent. Space. Yeah, we pretty much have 18 divisions of Sarkus ready to deploy. Fuck. Holy shit. Oh my god, we do. Give me Gamma or give me death. <laughs> all I want is Big Zam. That's all I want in this life. Ah, yes. Congress rejects troops withdrawal. Ooh. I hate to break it to them, but I'm not sure they have a choice. <laughs> no. No, they don't. Troops are either removed by them, or they're removed in a different way. I'm not too Admiral sure. Bozal, Fabi, and Miss Zena Mina are married. How lovely. Very nice. Congratulations. She's actually a uh, student of his at the um, academy. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Mm. And how old is he? <laughs> <laughs> much older than her, I can tell you that much. <laughs> Yes, I guess in the far reaches of space, they have different rule sets. Very much so. Yeah, Thomas Republic of Zion is free. Da -da -da -da. Principality of Zion declares independence. <laughs> but unanimously uh, to formally secede from the Earth Federation. Let's go. Now we need to wait for their response. It'll be harsh, I imagine. <laughs> yeah. They will declare war in a hundred days. I think. So be it. Granted, Adzam is going to be a while away because we need... We're 1.42 years ahead of time for this fucking thing. Ah, uh, it's a shame. And then we can go for Big Zam. <laughs> that Big Zam will destroy everything. <laughs> Yes. So how many people died in the one you? Fucking lot. <laughs> All right. We have our independence. Why hasn't the Earth Federation gotten all pissy? What the hell? They're just like it's fine. It doesn't matter. You're ready. Now. <laughs> I mean, it's ready as I'll ever be. All it's right. Time to drop some shit on Jaburo. <laughs> Puppet first declaration of war, removes Puppet from Raya, gets the event, six, side 6 government declares neutrality, Von Braun declared neutral, Principality Zeon forces advance, advance to Granda, Zeon declares war on no Earth Federation. Alright. Oh god, here we go, some shit to read. Oh my god, there's a lot of shit to read. Yeah, oh my god, there's a lot of shit to read, alright. <laughs> oh, we need to slow it down. Yeah, we need to slow down there. So, um, shall we do Operation British? Yep, it's time. Da -da -da -da. What's up, boys? It's all ours. How horrible. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Slow, uh, pause the game. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> The impact caused by a 30 kilometer long colony landing on Earth is thought to be the equivalent of 60,000 megatons and would blow Jaburo to hell. There there's an are. iron gesture of judgment on those fools. <laughs> oh, colony oh. enters Earth orbit. Earlier today, information circulated that the side two colony island Ifish, which was destroyed by a Principality of Zeon military attack, has entered a descending orbit to Earth, causing a great deal of panic among the citizens and government officials. Based on calculations, the colony is on course to hit Jaburo, South America, where the Earth Federation Army Headquarters is located. The Zeon Army sees the colony as a warhead, with the purpose of directly destroying the headquarters by dropping it on Jaburo in orbit. 
A fierce battle is fought between the Xeon fleet escorting the fall of the colony and the Federation space fleet by Lieutenant General Tianum.